working pretty well. Uh, in a previous video, you saw me put a, a winch on this thing. I'm still refining how it works a bit, and I have a, an idea for another one where I actually roll the logs up on from the side, which is probably gonna be better, but today I just wanna get these old pine logs that are sitting down here for too long out of the way, and uh, I wanna get down to the sawmill and cut up some two by fours. So uh, we'll see if it's any good, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hey, I'm uh, getting the solvent set up and um, just pouring a, some water with a little bit of Dawn dishwashing uh, soap in there. It's part of my lubricant for the blade. And uh, I've got my uh, trailer right here, as you see. I brought the pine logs up that we were looking, that we were loading up a little while ago, and I'm um, going to roll those off onto here and see if I can get a bunch of two by fours out of it. Um, not something I would use outdoors and we'll see how good the wood is I don't even know how good that that's been sitting there for a little over a year um, hopefully it's fine and uh, anyway it'd be good for you know indoor framing I don't know that I would use it I wouldn't use it for anything exterior just fine to hold up but we're gonna give it a try it'll be soft wood it'll be easy on the blade um, give me some more experience using this thing and you get to see me uh, cutting up some more wood some more logs all right thanks for joining So uh, these things move all the time, I guess. Uh, so just like you need to check your track uh, when you get that set up time, definitely check the laser. Uh, it was a little bit off um, and uh, I'm glad I checked it. it. It just looked off to me. So I grabbed the level and tried it and, and adjusted it a little bit and you just saw the final check, which is, is perfect. So it's good. Um, and I wanna make sure the laser hits the blade there. And then of course the level over here. Uh, I think that's it, so I'm ready to do my first cut. I'm back at it, cutting uh, pine 2x4s for framing, and uh, I've got another pine log on here. And I'm going to try, I've tried marking it up, I don't know how well you can see that on there, um, actually look around the back, there we go, hopefully you can see that on there. So I've got, I've marked out. 
six two by fours in the center and then one on the top and hopefully one on the bottom I don't know if that's gonna work right or not um, I think the top one and the bottom one probably won't really work out because the other end is narrower and we've got a dip in the middle so in fact I can clearly see that now I probably should have turned the laser on so that top one's not gonna work at all but at least I'll get the six out of the middle I think that'll work we'll give it a try this is uh, clearly the hardest part is figuring out how to get out of a log the lumber you want and uh, I've got some ideas of how to make this easier but for now I'm using uh, uh, the stick idea where I've got a, a 2 by one by 12 inch uh, board that I've marked up so I can figure out how to mark things a little faster um, most everything on a cut is probably going to be one or an increment of four um, so Hopefully that will work out well. Of course I have a tape measure if not, but that's just a fast way to draw all the lines and uh, kind of know what to expect. So we'll give it a shot, see how it works. True two by fours. I've got some skin on them. We'll bark on a few of these. Um, I did notice when I got to some of the knots, I had to slow down a little bit because uh, I wanted to stick a little bit. I'm still learning how to adjust everything, including the, the flow of the lubricant, the water, uh, soap water mix. So I don't know if it needs more or less with wet, sappy wood like this or not. Um, but uh, anyway, got that one. Let's see if maybe I can get one more. Um, at least get six more out of that other log and that'll give me um, that'll give me a little bit of inventory for uh, two by fours now, these are true two by fours in fact they look, they look a little bigger um, I again I'm learning so I don't know how much these are gonna shrink down uh, as they dry uh, so I'm gonna try to just stick it seems like easiest to stick with the true four inch and two inch and at least I can be consistent that way rather than trying to offset it more than that. We'll see what happens. They are a little heavier this size, but of course they're still so wet. Um, they're going to be heavy anyway, probably. So, All right. I'll uh, get another one up there and do some more. All right, so I've got another one on there. This one's a little smaller. Um, this time I'm going to try putting the smaller end. I know I've heard people say... They have preferences either way, but um, I'm going to do the smaller end down here since that's the end I'm marking up. Last time I marked up the bigger end, and of course that I knew that wasn't going to work. I don't know why I did it. <clears throat> so I'm going to mark up the smaller end. So you can see, hopefully I can get six out of that. I don't know if that'll work or not. We'll give it a try though and see what she does. Alright, so that's something that 
I didn't have happen before. The band popping off the wheels. And the reason that's doing that is, I believe, is since I started using the since I started using the um, fluid. And I think it just makes it a little too slippery. Maybe it's just not aligned perfectly yet still. Pretty frustrating when it happens, but it seems like after I shut it off and then I come back, start it back up, that's when it tends to happen. So, at least it's not broken. First time it happened, I was worried that it broke. And that's a much more expensive endeavor to have a belt band brakes and come off but yeah I think I'm just there's just sawdust and it's, I don't know why I, I, I didn't have this happen the first two times I used the saw but uh since I started using the I felt like I needed to use that with the pine I was worried it would be sappy or sticky or something so anyway I'll get the belt back on there and I think so far my uh, experience is teaching me that getting these getting these things dialed in as far as like the, the wheels have to be just dead on and uh, you have to adjust it I feel like you have to check it every time before you start up so a little bit of a pain but um, it's worth the results for sure but I'll just fix that and we'll try it again out pretty well um, I've still got the other I've still got the other uh, ones I've got to get them on their side and I'll trim a little off the top and a little off the bottom so I should be able to get two more two by fours out of those I got four out of these um, so I thought because pine was soft that it would be easier to cut uh, it isn't it's a not knotty pine like this um, every time you hit those knots a few times it kind of stop the blade almost I had to back up a little bit for a second let it pick back up the speed um, so gotta just watch those knots and try to go carefully over those with the pine I felt like the poplar cut a lot easier the oak actually seemed even better because it wasn't so it didn't have knots in it like this uh, of course the oak was a lot heavier but uh, I think that's it for today I think I'm gonna wrap up uh, just thought I would uh, give you a little bit more footage and um, get a little bit more time on the sawmill and um, show you a few more things. I uh, need to make sure I always give credit where credit is due. You guys hear me every time I talk about the sawmill, talk about sawing with Sandy. Um, he has a similar trick to this. I didn't, I thought about it, but I liked what he did. So um, 
I didn't, this isn't my original idea. This is, uh, he does something very similar to this, if not exactly like this. So, um, I'll give him credit again for that. So keep watching him too. He's awesome. Uh, I, I definitely love uh, seeing and learning new things from him. So I hope that you all uh, learn some things from me too. I, I hope to not just keep copying Sandy. I don't mean to copy him, uh, but he did share this with everybody so that we could learn how to do it ourselves and, uh, and do a better job on the mill. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I thank him for that. And uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, you know, if you have one, um, feel free to send me some comments. Maybe tell me some things I'm doing wrong or things I could do better. Um, I'm learning all the time, so I'll keep learning and sharing with you what I learn. And uh, if you share with us too, then um, we'll get that. Make sure everybody sees that. So thank you again for your comments, for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Click on the uh, bell to get notified when new ones come out, which is pretty much every weekend. And uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. All right, I like that. Uh, I like to know that you. Uh, uh, and enjoying the content and I uh, try to make it better all the time. I'm learning how to be a youtuber I'm learning how to do all these other things, too uh, And you're learning you're going along the journey with me. So I hope you're enjoying that and I appreciate you coming with me and uh, Continue to enjoy the outdoors fix things uh, repair things. Uh, I guess it's the same thing and create things build things um, use your creativity your time and, and your um, and your days wisely do it and enjoy life um, outdoors. All right. Thank you. And have a great week.